everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. We are gonna do a chair yoga sequence today for flexibility. So stick with me. If you like what you see today, please subscribe and um, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Okay, to start our practice, we're gonna have our feet planted on the ground, knees on top of ankle, shoulders on top of the waist. It's always very important that you find the right chair and the right positioning before you start your practice. And reminding yourself that every day is a different day. So if you don't, um, eh, some things are feeling a little wacky, a little grumpy in the body, take your time, maybe stop, and then get back to it. Okay, so with our feet planted firmly into the earth, shoulders on top of the waist, we're gonna draw the belly in, lengthen through the spine, the crown of the head is lifted to the sky, our chin is gently tucked in. We're gonna have our hands to the heart and start our practice. Breathing in and out. Setting our intention for a great practice for more flexibility. Breathing out. And how about setting also an intention of maybe a little bit more strength in the body, inhaling Great, I want you to take your arms all the way up. A little high tend to the skies. Draw the belly in, reach up to the sky, inhale, and then exhale, take your hands down on top of the thighs. Okay, brush stroking up, breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. Okay, again, breathing in, opening up our lungs, feeling a little bit more expansive, and breathing out. One more time, inhaling, and exhaling. Let's take the arms to the sides, arms up, breathe in, touch your fingers together, take your hands to the heart, breathe out. Take your hands up the midline, breathing in. Open up the palms, breathe out. Expansive arms. Now expansive breath, inhaling. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale up the midline. Exhale, open up, breathe out. Okay, we're gonna do two more of those. In, out, connecting breath with movement. Inhaling, exhaling. So it's one, we're gonna see one more set. In, out, inhaling, tight belly, long spine, and exhale, breathe out. Okay, let's go ahead and take the right arm up. Tall spine, sway to the side, breathe out. Good, breathing in, and we're gonna go back again. Breathe out, relax this bottom shoulder. In and out, good, in and out. Perfect, lift up and release it to the other side. Arm up, tall spine, drop that bottom shoulder, breathe out. Good, inhale, lift and out. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, smiling, exhaling. Let's do one more. Breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Perfect, arm up and release. We're gonna roll those shoulders out for three. Are you ready? Two. And one, this feels so good. I want you to take your fingertips on top of the shoulders and go ahead and do the same thing. We're just kind of like rolling them out, but using the assistance of our elbows. So you may want to visualize you're using the elbows to create little circles beside you, okay? And you're noticing that I'm kind of moving my torso with me, okay? So I'm being a little more fluid with this, I'm giving my waist a little more flexibility here. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna breathe and relax. Okay, so although I'm relaxed, my, my posture is still tall. Good. Are you breathing? Awesome. Now, elbows up, breathe in. Look up to the sky, draw the belly in, and then release the hands and have the palms up. Down. We're gonna do that again. Breathing in. Breathing out, take your fingertips to the shoulders. Inhale, elbows up. 
Draw the belly and chest up and then breathe out. Release the hands and palms down. Okay, try that again. Inhale, arms up. Breathe out, fingers touch the shoulders. Inhale, elbows up, chest up, belly in, and then exhale, release. Okay, can we do two more? I did that without cueing you. Can you do it? Breathe in, breathing out, touch. Inhale, elbows up, exhale, release. Well done. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the shoulders forward now. So a little bit more fluid in the lower back, in the upper back, just feeling like you're just moving, opening up and expanding the upper back and spine. Very good. Awesome. Okay, lift all the way up. Let's go for our seated cow and cat. So hands on top of the thighs, feet are still rooted. Inhale, open up the chest, roll those shoulders back and down, tail sticks out to the back, lift up your chin. Breathe in, and then exhale, rounding the back. Go ahead and draw the belly in really nice and tight. Reach your fingertips right to the front. Draw the chin to the chest. Feel that nice rounding of the back. Good. Inhale again, cow pose. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cat. Breathing in, cow. Ooh. Exhale, cat. Great. Come back to neutral spine. We're going to go and twist to the right. So I want you to take your left hand to the outside of that right thigh. You're going to take the opposite hand, so your right hand, and anchor it down to the back of the chair or maybe to the side of you, whatever, whichever is best for you. We're going to go ahead and lift and lengthen through the spine, inhaling here and then exhaling, twisting. You'll notice that my shoulders are relaxed. I'm not going to grind my sits bones into the chair. I'm going to relax my sits bones a little, and I'm working on focusing on twisting my upper thoracic spine. Those are those thick um, thoracic vertebrae that just don't get a lot of uh, movement. So we're inhaling, lengthening up here, exhaling, twisting. I'm going to try to keep my chin over my sternum. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Good, breathing in and twist. Awesome, from here, breathe in, and then we're gonna exhale, unwind, Ooh, and then we're gonna switch hands. Right hand to the outside of our left thigh, and the left hand's gonna be either behind us, like a kickstand, nice and close to the tailbone, or right to the side of the chair for support. Inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, gently twist, relax the shoulders chin on top of the sternum. Breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist, relax the shoulders. Inhale, lift, lengthen. You're noticing my spine is nice and tall, twisting. One more time, breathing in and twist, breathe out. Good, to come out of the pose, we're inhaling and then exhaling, unwinding. Perfect, let's take the arms to the sides. Breathe in, touch. This time, breathe out, expand. Now we're going for a twist just like this. Keep the shoulders relaxed. If you need to bend the elbows for support, supporting the shoulders, do that. Just make sure that the arms are just in a comfortable position, but still expansive. Draw the belly in, chest up, back straight, breathe in here, exhale, twist. So you're seeing, I'm obstructed by the door behind me, but you can twist as much or as little as you need to, okay? Come back to center, breathe in, breathe out, twist. Excellent, breathing in, exhale, twist. Increasing the flexibility of our spine, in and twist. Perfect, come back to center, release. Take the arms up, touch. Now we're going to expand our fingers. Now you can show me your yoga fingers and then squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Drop the elbows down. Good, breathing in, touch and squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Good, tight belly, lifted spine, chest up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Two more, making it five, breathe in. Exhale, squeeze, we're strengthening our upper back muscles. Breathing in, also putting flexibility, breathing out. Good, 
Take your hands up like they're a goal pose, just like this. Expand your yoga fingers. So show me your yoga fingers. Give them a little wiggly, wiggly wave. Good, from here, twisting. Shoulders are relaxed, breathe in, breathe out, twist. Awesome, come back to center, breathe in. Breathing out, twisting. Good, inhale, exhale, twist. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, release. Okay, go ahead and roll those shoulders out, depending on how strong or uh, deficient those shoulders are, we're gonna just give them a nice little roll. Okay, motion is lotion. Perfect, okay. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take our hands to the heart. And this is gonna feel nice and easy because we did the hard stuff first. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Piece of cake, great, come on back to center. Breathing in, exhale, twist. Are you keeping your chin over your sternum? Awesome, nice tall spine. Engage your belly muscles a little bit more so we can work this space in and out. Good. Inhale and exhaling. Awesome. Come back to center. Release. Take your hands in front and go ahead and give me a little bit of a piano playing. So remember, when you're playing the piano, we're going to relax the shoulder, nothing too tense, and we're working mostly our digits here, the fingers. Okay. Awesome, our metacarpals. Okay, we're gonna expand out, playing the pianos out, chest up, playing the piano back to center. Good, lifting up and release. Okay, now a little metaphor here. We're gonna pretend we're turning the doorknobs. We're gonna open up the doors because we're gonna move into a different area in the sequence because we need to do this in preparation for our standing poses. So I want you to pull, open the doors, pull the door open, open the chest, and then punch it out. Good, open those doors, pull it in, and then punch it out. So my fists are facing inward to each other and I'm punching out, but I'm having a nice tall spine. Open the door, so articulate those fingers, Pull in, chest up, squeeze those elbows nice and close to the body, punch it out, <sighs> breathing in and out. <sighs> One more time, breathing in and punch it out. <sighs> now with those fists, I want you to take your hands up, good, open up, breathe out, <sighs> breathing in and release those hands. <sighs> well done. Let's take our hands on top of the thighs, okay? And let's see what it feels like with our left foot rooted into the ground. We're gonna just lift up, lift up that right knee, okay? So this is gonna take some core work. We're gonna draw the belly in, again, creating flexibility. So to create flexibility in the body, we also need to do compression. It's a very common practice, what we do in yin yoga, where we compress certain joints. So you'll see I'm compressing our psoas here, okay, the groin area but then we're releasing. And that releasing feeling is gonna allow for all this beautiful synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid to just zoom, rush into those areas. So with a tall spine, tight belly to support your lower back, if you need to head your hands down onto the side, do that. We're just opening up, kind of feeling and strengthening this, we're releasing it so that we're gonna end up having nice little movement here. Okay, that was enough for me. How was it for you? Did you stop earlier? Your practice, your yoga, you do what's best for you. Other foot is rooted into the ground, tall spine, tight belly. We're just lifting, breathing, being conscious of this compression in the psoas, but then that release that allows for the, the, that nice beautiful rush of all those beautiful fluids that our body produces. So now I'm like, whoosh, I'm starting to feel this. And then releasing, whoosh, feeling that beautiful hyaluronic acid, that synovial fluid, you're rushing to that space. Let's take a breath here, in and out. Okay, before we go ahead and stand up, I want us to extend our legs and I want us to just kind of roll up the ankle so we're getting really nice and rooted and feeling into our feet before we stand up, okay. So hands to the sides of the chair, feel nice and secure. Extend the right foot out and go ahead and rotate the ankle. Okay, I'm rotating outward 
and then I'm going to rotate it inward. Perfect. Release. Okay, you'll notice that I'm still trying my best to keep my belly tight to support my lower back and my chest is lifted still. Other side, rotating, and I'm not holding my breath, so keep on breathing. And let's rotate the inward. You're doing so good. How are you feeling? Always checking in with yourself, right? Okay, release. Everybody feeling pretty good about this? Awesome, let's take the arms up, touch. Take your hands to the sides, breathe in. Let's press onto the sides of our legs and bend all the way down, okay? Good, now hands on the inside of the legs, tight belly, press on the inside of the legs, rolling the shoulders back and down. So as you may know, I'm an acupuncturist as well as a yoga teacher. I always like to incorporate adding the meridians of our body. So pressing the outside yang meridian here and pressing on the inside of the legs, the yin meridian of our body and rolling the shoulders back and down. Again, inhale up, exhale, breathe in, breathe up, press, 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 press. Root your feet into the earth, tuck your belly in, press on the inside of the legs, come on up, roll the shoulders back and down. One more time, breathing in, breathing out, inhale and exhale, breathe out. Tight belly, come on up, breathing in, Roll the shoulders back and down, breathe out. Notice how you feel. Are the legs feeling a little buzzy? Did you start to stimulate the chi, the life force, the blood in the body a little bit more warm? Take one more breath. And now we're ready to stand up to start the rest of our practice. Okay, go ahead, stand up the best way that you can to support yourself. Grab onto your chair and reposition it, please, so that it is ahead of you. Okay, so whenever we're standing and using the chair, we always want to make sure the chair is nicely rooted into the earth or whatever the, the surface you're using. And you are going to be very conscious of making sure that the feet are rooted into the earth whenever they're planted into the ground, okay? We're using the chair for support. I want you to have your hands placed down to the back of the chair, please. Your feet are gonna be hip width distance apart. So nothing too wide, nothing too close. So don't have your feet together. Hip width distance apart, spreading the feet, the toes. And then I want you to visualize four corners of each foot rooted into the ground. That's your stance. And this piece, my friends, is actually Tadasana, mountain pose. This is a very powerful pose, which is just standing. But if you're focused on um, rooting four corners of your feet into the earth, okay? Drawing the belly in, the knees are slightly soft. So tight belly, chest up, back straight, rooted the crown to the top of the sky here. Take your hand, one hand, maybe two hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in here, okay? So you're engaging your thighs, you're tightening your belly muscles. This is a very strong pose, mountain pose. If you want to take your hands here, we're going to breathe in and out. Awesome. Do you feel rooted? Do you feel strong? Okay, from here, I want you to step back one, two feet so that your arms distance apart from the chair. Your arms are still um, still kind of hip width distance apart as well. I want you to bend the knees, stick your tailbone out, draw the belly in and extend outward. And what we're doing is downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana from using the support of the chair. You're gonna feel the backs of the legs being stretched. So the hamstrings, if you wanna feel a little bit more, you're gonna draw the belly in, we're gonna extend and spread our fingers and don't let your head surpass your arms. We're going to stretch here, breathing in and out. So stick the tailbone out, bend the knees a little bit more. So I really want to encourage you to bend those knees, breathing in and out. So tight belly, we're going to walk our feet toward the chair. One, two hands up, breathe in, breathing out. Inhale back to that Tadasana pose, that mountain pose and then step back into downward dog. Arms distance apart, 
bending the knees, sticking the tail up to the sky, expanding and widening into the shoulder blades, feeling this beautiful stretch, the whole body stretch of downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. <sighs> Wonderful. We're gonna come on back up, step, step, step. Feet are hip width distance apart, four corners of your feet planted. One, two hands up, breathe in. Breathing out, hands back down, Tadasana, mountain pose. Breathing in and out. Good. Now let's prepare for Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. I'm gonna step back with the left foot. We're gonna bend the front knee and the back leg is straight and strong here. The front knee is on top of the ankle and the back leg is straight and strong, okay? So when we do standing poses with or without the chair, we are focused on 70% of our weight in this back leg. That means that we're not gonna be leaning too far forward. The knee's on top of the ankle, the shoulders are still stacked on top of the waist. You need to see, do I feel comfortable in this space? Do I need to widen my stance? Do I need to find a wider position so that I feel like a tripod rooted into the ground and very stable? That's what I want you to feel. The hips should be square to the back of your chair. Same with your shoulders. And from here, this is warrior one with the support of the chair. Now, your choice, I want you to see if you can, take one, two hands up, breathing in and out. Now, if that's, uh, that's not feeling secure for you today, taking one hand up is completely fine. So this, and this looks great too, right? So we're gonna breathe in here. I want you to straighten the front leg and then breathe out. We're gonna alternate arms. Inhale, straightening and arm up and breathing out. So if you're alternating arms, that's great. Or if you're doing both hands at the same time, that's great too. Okay, so let's do five more of these. Inhale, exhaling. Remember, 70% back here. Inhale, tight belly. Exhale, root into the ground, feeling strong. In and out. Okay, in and out. One more breath, in and out. That was five, well done. We're gonna go ahead and step forward. Breathing in, step forward. And then exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Remember, bend those knees, stick the tailbone out, draw the belly in, so tight belly, Tuck your belly in, expand the back of your shoulder blades. So you're feeling a nice stretch in the shoulders as well as the hamstrings. Breathe in and out. And then go ahead, tight belly, walk your feet toward the chair, back to mountain pose. Inhaling, engaging the thighs a little, finding a little more rooted into the ground. And out. Good. Let's go to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and step back with the other foot. And this, depending on how the body's feeling, one side is always grumpier than the other, I guarantee you. This feels like the grumpy side for me. So I need to widen my stance a little bit wider, okay, maybe wider than even the back of the chair. So I feel like I'm really securely planted into the floor. I'm gonna spread my toes just as I did on the other side. And I'm gonna focus on 70% of my weight being back here, shoulders on top of the waist, knee on top of the ankle. Don't let it get ahead. You're going to end up feeling a little bit of discomfort here, okay? And then you may have to end up booking an appointment with me for acupuncture. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. We want to find flexibility and strength, okay? So that you are doing all of this so that you're, you don't ever have to see a therapist for anything. Okay, knee on top of the ankle. Let's draw the belly in, shoulders stacked on top of the waist. How does it feel? One, two hands. Do we feel secure? Maybe, maybe not, okay? So you find what's best for you. One or two hands up, okay? So we're gonna straighten and bend. Okay, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, breathing out. How does that feel? Okay, let's try both hands. In and out, warrior one, inhaling, Exhaling, remembering these are meant to build heat and strength in the body. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhaling. Two more. Press into that back leg. Back leg should be straight, please. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. How did that feel? Okay, go ahead. Use the grip, supporting your self. Step forward, readjust yourself, back to mountain pose, chest up, root into those feet, tight belly, engage those thighs, breathe in and out. Inhale and then step back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, please. Good. Does this feel a little bit more comfortable now? Remember, head does not surpass the arm. Spread those fingers, widen the backs of your shoulder blades. Tighten your belly muscles, stick that tail out. Good, come on back up. Breathe, 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 breathe. Back to mountain pose. Well done. Now we're gonna go and do warrior two. Okay, so from here, we're gonna step back with the left foot. Okay, so we're using the same foot that we started from the original one. And in this pose, my body's now turned to face you, which means I'm no longer square to the back of the chair. I'm open, my hips are open. And in this posture, we're doing the same principle. Knee on top of the ankle, back leg is straight and strong. We're gonna to try to have our shoulders stuck on top of the waist. So it's very common that people are leaning like this. If that's the case, scoot yourself a bit closer to, so I'm gonna to toe heel, toe heel, scoot yourself closer to the back of the chair, okay? Find what's best for you. And in this posture, we're gonna extend the arm out here. When we are in warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, the our body is open, chest is now facing the side, and the arm is out. Now, how do you feel? It's your practice. Let's look to the front. We can keep the hand on the chair or maybe off of it, okay? Virabhadrasana two. Breathe in and breathe out, release. Take that back arm, lift it back up, inhaling, Exhaling, releasing, doing great. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling, exhaling. Remember, we're looking over the front middle finger into infinity. Of course, you can check the back hand, see if it's where it's like, we like it. Good, in and out. Now from here, I'd like you to take the arm up. The positioning of the body, the legs do not change. But the body, yes, does change. We're gonna stretch a little bit over. And guess what? We're using the support of the chair. So I'm gonna stretch here. This feels so good on the whole side of the body, opening up for more flexibility in the, in the whole chest, in the back. Feels so good in the shoulders. Breathing here. Ah, come on back up, tight belly, and release. We're gonna do that again. Breathing in and stretch, sway a little bit closer to the chair. Good, breathing in and release. Okay, one more time. In and sway, beautiful. Good, breathing in and release. Ah, perfect. Now to get out of this pose, we're gonna grip onto the back of the chair, we're gonna tighten our belly muscles, Think about the front foot as being an elephant foot rooted into the ground, pushing off with the back strong foot forward, breathing in and out. Let's go ahead and step back into warrior, uh, no warrior, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Well done, amazing. Okay, now for me to execute the other side, I'm gonna to have to turn my chair, but of course you don't. We're just gonna do the other side. But then I want you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so from here, we're gonna step back with the opposite foot. Right foot behind, okay? Back leg is straight and strong. Find a nice, comfortable position. When I teach these classes on the yoga mat, I'm really more fussy about foot positioning but I feel like with the support of the chair, you find what's best for you and your opening of your chest and your hips. I think what's best for you and your practice is the most important, as long as you're having that support and you're rooted into the body, into the floor. So back leg, same thing applies. 70% of the weight here, shoulders stuck on top of the waist. Okay, taking the arm out, 
Amazing. Good. And then lifting the other arm up here, holding it, breathing in, and releasing, breathing out. Okay, again, breathing in and out, breathing out. Awesome. Inhaling, straight and strong with that spine. Back leg is straight and strong too, breathe out. Inhaling, exhale, good, in and out, well done, one more, in, how's that back end look, breathe, breathe out, good, now let's do that nice little stretch, up and sway, using the support of the chair, you know, if you feel really flexible on this side, go ahead and take the arm down if you wish, depends on how, how your body's feeling and your practice, up and release, good, breathing in, breathing out, Still supporting in that back leg, 70%. Lift and release. Breathing in, breathing out. In and release. Perfect. Two more. In and out. Good. In and release. Ah, breathe in. Last one. Breathe out. In and release. How's that feel? Does it feel okay? Okay, go ahead. Take your hands in front. Step forward. Breathe in. Go ahead. Downward facing dog, please. Stick that tailbone out. Feel nice and supported. And then slowly come on back up. Whew. Well done. Okay, we're going to take the chair. I'm going to take the chair back to position so that we can go ahead and sit back down for the rest of our practice. Okay, so now we're back down onto the chair. Everything should feel really nice and warm. We always kind of build our practice up to a heated state, and then we're gonna go ahead and cool down. So how do we cool down? We're gonna go ahead and take the arms all the way up and breathe out. We're gonna take our hands down to the thighs and spread our feet further apart. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take the right um, shoulder into the center, the right elbow sticking out. Got it. Breathing in, breathing out. Perfect. In and out. Reminding ourselves that this practice is for flexibility, but of course with flexibility comes some strengthening too. Breathing in, breathing out. Because that is the yin and the yang, right? We can't do one without the other. So what happens is if we always overdo something on one side, then something is gonna be weak on the other, okay? I hope that makes sense. Come back to center. <sighs> well done. With your legs are nice and far apart, we're gonna brush stroke the arms here. Open up, show me your yoga fingers, expanding, and then go ahead and take the arms in front, the one arm in front, and then slide it open. Okay, brush stroke across and slide it open. You got it, brush and slide it open. Think of a nice brush stroke with your finger. Slide it open. One more on each side, please. Brush and slide. Are you breathing? Brush and slide, perfect. Now I want you to do a nice little open wave here okay open wave when we do this we need to draw the belly in you're going to notice we have to tighten our belly muscles to support our spine good breathe in and out in and out feel maybe a little more fluid as you do this relaxing the shoulders and of course if you're feeling really achy and grumpy then we don't want to overdo it but just give it enough so you're putting some blood movement into the space so it feels better later. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Now from here, a little bit more of like our little Qigong Chinese medicine, we're gonna expand our fingers up and down. Good, again, breathing in and out. Now I want you to cross the arms as though you're pulling a sweater off of your body. 
lifting, expanding, and ex opening up the palms outwardly, okay? Again, crossing the arms, expanding, opening, taking that imaginary sweater off. So what I like to, for you to visualize is you're pulling off any sort of grumpiness that's left in the body and you're releasing it, sending it out to the universe, okay? So cross the arms in the opposite direction that you were doing before, up and pushing it out. So I'm taking off all of that grumpiness that's in the body. And let me tell you, I've got some grumpy parts of the body here. I've got some definite shoulder injuries. Lifting and I'm moving through it and I'm letting it go, breathe out. Last one here, breathing in, visualizing, taking off all that grumpiness and then letting it go. <sighs> Perfect. We're gonna toe heel those feet back in, please. Awesome. We're gonna close our practice with our hands on top of the thighs with a nice little cow pose. Exhale, cat. Two more, please. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhale. Well done. Thank you for joining my practice today. I hope you feel more flexible, maybe a little more strong as well. We'll take our hands to the heart to close the practice. Namaste, everyone. Have a wonderful day.